Uh. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Pokemon Shield. <laughs> Are you okay, sir? <laughs> Are you well? Welcome back, everybody, to the journey of Spud in Pokemon Shield. Does that require assistance? Last episode, we fought. We fought Gordy. This time we have we have the new gym leader to clear out. Oh, but, for, but before we go over the gym leader, we got some new additions to Spud's team. You'll love this thing so much, so I bought so I grabbed one. <laughs> for the glory of Rome! Kill me, still part of my team. Mod's still here. Oh. Actually fitting because we have we have Gordy's Pokemon. Co-host HQ, Donkey Konga. And Ooh! and just and just for and just for memes. Frieza the Snom. Snom. <laughs> Snom. Frieza. Get it? Snom. Because it's freeze. Ah? Huh? <laughs> so we got a few things to go over. Because I got some videos for us to look at. First off, here's the gym leader we're fighting today. Can I just say, behind the scenes, I had to look up Google Images for 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 the gym leaders so I could have them in the thumbnails. Don't Google search this character. It's for your own good. Let's just say it took a, it took a long time for me not to find to find a kid friendly version or safe for work, whatever you want to call that. Yeah. <laughs> Also, here's a few things that I... So, Snom, so Snom evolves through friendship. So I was like, okay, I know an easy way to do that. Get Pokemon Camp. So I called Snom over to me. Oh, gosh. Snom. 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 This took 50 seconds. And yes, switch switch video only lasts 30. It does not make it to me in that time. <laughs> so I also decided to get to get Roman number 6 some stuff, but there's an issue with Roman number 6. Do you see how long he is? Mm -hmm. When you're when you're also calling other Pokemon to you, they get behind. They get kind of stuck. <laughs> Team Interview, kill me very much. Yeah, can I just say how perfect it is that that text box showed up with him right behind Roman Number Six, <laughs> doing this. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, what, what's happening is that Kill Me's trying to get me the ball in its mouth. It kind of can't get around. <laughs> what do you mean you're not interested? I'd be interested in what's going on behind, with the other two, two in the back. The poor two in the back of you. So yeah, there's our so yeah, there's our adventure. Did I just say that bag looks terrible? So hey, yeah, here's Melody. Melody has been a gym leader since she was in her twenties. She is also known as a very effective coach, but her coaching style is incredibly strict. Her body style is fittingly severe and stoic as well. I think gym trainers who manage to remain under Melanie are sure to be powerful opponents. This may see, thus the. many see, 
Sir Chester Stadium as a major roadblock for gym challenges. Many quietly speculate that Melanie's harsh battle style is due to a fight she had with her son. different. So yep, trap detector this time, it's a snow version of the desert that we went through in last part. <laughs> that didn't occur to me. Snowy area. Desert gym. Yeah, as I said, why what? was it rock type? <laughs> so yeah, Melanie is not only a better gym leader to me, but is also, also makes way more sense. <laughs> He actually, Spud actually looks very confused that he's holding these. He's like, why do I have these? Why the hell did they give me these? Why do I have two of them? You hear me? Very calm and move forward. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'd remember the path because it's the exact same as in Sword. <laughs> You're not as good as Abigail. As long as I've got ice type Pokemon with me, I can stay totally chill. Also, <laughs> I'm wearing shorts <laughs> in the winter. Chill. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, not as cool as Abigail. Yeah. Oh, but he has Snom. So Snom. Snom. <laughs> There's no way I could lose. That's why I'm fist pumping with a giant smile. No, that's his. No, I think that's him pointing a finger, actually. I can't tell if he's pointing a finger or not. I think that was point finger. I think that was Phoenix right finger point, but I don't know. Take that! Oh, well, not that way. Let the hate flow through you. Well, I'm pretty sure you go to the left where the trainer is. Pokemon solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. My lady, is that illegal? Aw, oh, she is cute. So I'm not a good girl. Yeah. But well, who is, really? <laughs> I have a girl, but one true one too. Oh, that didn't do much. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, put your defense down next to the fighting type. That's a smart move. Oh, do it again. Yes. Yes, great work. Lower your defense more. You're a smarty right there. Now you're dead. I 
like I smashed the tiny pieces along with my pride. Okay, she's cute, but not as funny as the other one, as the yeah. Gordy's. <laughs> Why does... <laughs> Gordy's just outmatched by his own trainers in likability. <sighs> well, like the same thing that happened in Gordy's gym. Gym Challenger, are you aiming to battle Melanie 2? No, I want to battle Melanie 1. <laughs> I don't want to fight the clone, I want the real one. Alexander the Great versus the glory of Rome. <laughs> now we're using first impression. What? First impression works is a lot stronger if you use it as the first move in a battle. Makes sense. But it's not worth it against an ice type. <laughs> Senpai! Senpai! Oh no! She might get cross with me if she hears I lost to a challenger! You know, I kind of wish I could, you know, I, I think it would be kind of interesting to see, like, stats of, like, how, like, how many people actually lose to, like, get different trainers throughout the game. Like, how many people lose to the gym? To the gym? Just to, like, all the trainers in the game. Like, see cool. how many people actually ever lose to these trainers. I mean, it's going to be, like, 1% at most for almost all of them, but... It'd be interesting to see if there's like some trainer that... There's just like this random trainer that has like... A 3% win rate against players. <laughs> and it's like, wait, why do people just lose to this trainer randomly? You are frozen, see? I don't think there's a warrior cat named Snowstorm. Surprisingly. Continue forward, even if you can't see where you're going. That's Sir Sester Stadium's gym mission. And it also makes a lot more freaking sense than a sandstorm. Because it doesn't make sense that the snowfield has a sandstorm! Oh, that guy. Uh, okay. It just doesn't make sense that the probably should have healed. <laughs> Never mind, it's using Ice Fang against a fighting type. We're fine. <laughs> you beat the big lug. You examined the entire Pokemon iceberg. I remembered that was a, po a Gen 6 Pokemon. I just remembered that because Gen 6 is really forgettable. I just realized how many super potions we have. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do for my games. I just... Buy a bajillion of them and then only use them as healing items. Oh. Uh, then Spud died. Escapes in helicopter. See, it's a helicopter to fly over the gym. <laughs> land in the stadium. <laughs> Where the... Oh, I was on there! That whole time. How did I... How did I not fall for it? You probably have to go, like... More... You have to probably reach, like, the center part of it or something. Or like, triggers. 
There's no giving up. Not even at the very end. Alright. And then you just go around. Well, in fact, you went on the left side on the other gym. Huh. Why well, is that a fun fact? <laughs> I don't know. It just is. So who's gonna be voicing everyone's everyone's favorite Pokemon MILF up a bit up here? Pop out your chest a bit. Can I answer? <laughs> what the hell am I wearing holding these? So Joel, you're gonna answer? <laughs> you wanna be the be the attra attraction of everyone of every player of this game, or do you want me to do it? Do you want to be thick mama or should I be thick mama? <laughs> These are important questions. I feel like I've done a lot of the gym videos. You should do this one. <laughs> I did. I did Opal. Hey, Alistair. Well, uh, I am Melanie. As you can clearly see, I have assembled a team of all ice-type Pokemon. You, you aren't so all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that... Well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. Smoth there is Snom's evolution line. Snom has become ultimate. Dom almost die. What's the matter? They're just—they're just hailing the—they're just hailing the glory of Rome. Not that hail. <laughs> hail the Roman Empire. Having fun. <laughs> just a bit. He crashed. Face down, white. <laughs> Why are you calling me fat? I'm <laughs> sure I'm not. Hey, 46. <laughs> oh, this thing. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Those we can have for later. I freaking love Galarian Darmanitan. <laughs> rock. I am a rock. Gray. Like. <laughs> what the heck am I looking at? Galarian Darmanitan. I love it. Pinky, did you draw this? What? Pinky, did you design this? Who? It looks Pinky Pie. Oh. My sister. Oh, you're speaking as Maud. I get it now. Uh, yes. I am a rock. 
spray like a rock, which I am. And then it's Zen mode. It's a freak. This. <laughs> I love this thing. Never mind. I don't think Pinky would draw this. Rocks. The ancient power of rock. Oh no, I was buffeted by the hail. Yeah, I got my HP back. <laughs> I have leftovers. Oh right, this thing. <laughs> I've been healed by Boulder. Thank you, Boulder. Oh, by the way. Snom sucks. <laughs> Snom. That's the only two moves it learns. It is an ice type magic arm. Oh gosh. I'll keep Maud out actually. I love this one. <laughs> Love the ice types in, in Gen 8. Private, report! Why do you have an ice cube on your head? Private probably won't survive. <laughs> God damn it! Never mind, he will survive. I will survive! Wait a minute. How is he eating the leftovers when. Why? How is she eating the leftovers when frozen solid? Boulder is not... Boulder is not contained by your rules. Boulder is too strong. Also, I like how it froze the volcano. Well, Melanie's putting on more of a fight than Gordy did. Say that when she puts hail back up, even though it's clearly not working. Hail to the queen, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what the internet said. No, not 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 Melanie. Melanie sucks. <laughs> I find her a Melanie lot more interesting than Gordy. Melanie is the most. Ba you're right. Though. You're you're right. I suppose. Gordy is the most basic of jokes. Truly. I don't know why her pet rock is the leftovers, that's just kind of what happened. <laughs> She's not eating Boulder, I promise. Okay, it's almost down. <laughs> we went for the gym faster than it's taken for us to take this thing down, by the way. I guess Private survived longer than we thought. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have a dog. <laughs> We didn't have the electric dog Pokemon, so it didn't work that well. Also, I like how Leftovers, I think, is healing more than Hail is do Oh, never mind, it's the exact same. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice. Scraper! 
Selfco is back to kill you all. Hey, how fitting you get leprous in Selfco. Oh no, go and check into Max. I'll let you do something that I didn't get the chance to read. Why didn't you read? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, the internet also liked that picture. <laughs> Can I be her Pokeball? That's definitely what the internet wanted. Yeah. <laughs> My partner Signature Moon invites you to a Sub-Zero world. A world of being vulnerable to death? <laughs> Actually, that makes sense! <laughs> wait, wait a second. Lapras' Gigantamax isn't really that interesting to me. <laughs> it's just big Lapras. A big mountain on its back. Oh yeah, I guess the the, the, the shell is a little different. <laughs> we just keep raising our defense against each other! Oh man. Except that it's using special defense. <laughs> I freaking like that kid a bit back there. Yeah, sure. Might as well raise my attack. <laughs> God dang, go! I did very little damage. Yeah, but I get more attack for when we get out of the Gigantamax forms. If co-host HQ lives, which he did not. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the most challenging fight we've had. Yeah, I know. Oh, good. <laughs> now, Leprous just looks really sad being on the ground. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just get Brick Break instead. Yeah, there. <laughs> there it goes. I did it. I just want to climb into a hole. And this pose is the one that I found for the thumbnail. Ah. And yes, it was the best one I found. <laughs> well, I guess it would be more fun from here, right? It's literally the same thing Gordy said. Wow. You, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokemon is as sad. But to meet someone so young with such ability, is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. Oh my god, she's touching my hand! I'm never washing this hand again! Nah. This is what people on the internet are probably saying to this. Nah. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become a champion. If that time comes, give me the right thrashing, would you? Don't worry, we already did in an alternate dimension. <laughs> Spud, my sincere congratulations for your victory over Gym Leader Melanie. Please take this commemorative TM. <laughs> His voice gets deeper and deeper every time we get out of here. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to do a voice like that anymore. 
Oh man, that so was yeah, that's it for for our Pokemon Shield journey. So between the two, Melanie or her son Gordy? Uh, Melanie, but not by a whole lot. I don't like her Melanie voice. makes a lot more sense, at least. Oh yeah. And she Melanie, I think, would be fine if the or... internet didn't do what it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is the last time we're seeing Spider. We're doing something else. Later. No, we got more more Shield stuff later. Okay. And we have one in the Elite Four, and one, and one in the post-game content. Oh, so we get to fight, or we to fight one in the Elite Four, probably, if I'm not doing, recording all of it with Spide, right? No. <laughs> We're only showing the one. So, and also, I don't feel like buying $20 DLC for Shield, so we will not be showing the DLC off for Spud. It'd really be only one character, really, in that, so not really that worth it. I'm probably just show uh, yeah. a video clip of it or something, I don't mm -hmm. know. So yeah, that's Pokemon Shield's journey. We'll see you guys in the end. Take care. Bye! And if you're wondering why I'm not doing the thing, Spud doesn't spin. But wouldn't be caught dead prancing around in that spin. It's way too edgy for that. <laughs> Not a child. I'm grown up and cool. Which is why I got the MILF <laughs> as my gym leader.